All right, y'all, today is the first day of fall. Uh, our time in daylight quickly, unfortunately, getting shorter and shorter, even on the equinox, which translates to equal nights. Day is still longer than night. Meteorologist Alex Calamia explains why. Happy fall. The autumnal equinox happens on September 22nd this year. The date can vary anywhere between the 21st and the 24th of September. But despite what you've probably been told, day is actually still a bit longer than night on the autumnal equinox by just a smidge. Six minutes to be exact with the sun rise at 713, the sun set at 719. There's a lot that you can do in six minutes. Day length and nighttime are just about equal on a date called the equilux. That happens on September 26th this year, a few days after the equinox. So why is it that they aren't equal on the equinox? Well, the first reason has to do with the way that we measure the sunrise. The sunrise happens the moment that the top of the sun's disk touches the horizon, not when the center of the sun's disk touches the horizon. And the sunset, same situation, when that top of the sun's disk, again, touches the horizon for one final time, that's officially the sunset time. Reason two, a little more complicated. It kind of blows my mind every time, but the sun actually appears a little bit higher in the sky than it actually is. That's due to refraction. So when you're seeing the sun above the horizon, in reality, it's actually still a little bit more below the horizon. And you've seen the way that nature can play trick on our eyes with refraction if you've ever put a spoon in a clear glass of water. The spoon isn't broken, but the way that the denser water refracts the light gives the appearance. And our atmosphere works the same way because that's denser than outer space. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.